Okay, now we are going to get back to our box, which we have been letting sit aside for the uh, cement to, to dry down a little bit. And what we're going to do is two things. Uh, we need another part. This is called the reinforcing ring. Um, and this is something that goes on the very bottom of the crow box and gives the base panel here some extra strength um, in the case where you'd want to mount your crow box to a pole or something like that. Um, and we're going to stick this right on the bottom here, so you'll need it peeled, both sides. So let's get to peeling. Okay, so we're going to do two things here. Um, the first of which, we're going to apply cement to the bottom of the retaining or the reinforcing ring here. My mistake. And then we're going to place it here, and uh, it's going to stick to the re reinforcing ring is going to stick to. Um, the base panel just a little bit um, and we're going to be able to float it just for a short time just for maybe a minute or so it'll be able to float on that cement layer uh, and what we're going to do is look through the uh, opening at the top of our crow box here and it's difficult on camera with the servo spine in, in the way but the point here is that the holes these four holes in the bottom or in the base panel of the crow box are larger than the four holes in the reinforcing ring and um, that way you can look through um, the bottom of the machine through these holes down here and uh, get these centered. Um, so let's do that. Get a little cardboard uh, placemat here for myself. I'm going to put a little bead of cement onto this. I'm going to circle, roughly circle, the screw holes here because Depending on how you mount, you may we use those screw holes and we want some strength around them. We also want enough cement that we can kind of float this in the way I described. So as best you can, just get this centered over those holes and in place. Now you can see how I'm floating it. Now I'll flip this over, look through the machine, and you just want to get it so that you can see a little bit of green through each of the brown holes. Well, in my case, you want to be able to see the dark color through the light colored panel, I guess I should say, because I don't know what color your crow box is. And that's about it. Um, once that's in place like that, we can apply um, a bit more cement uh, in the ring part here, just to strengthen things up. And I missed there. You want to shoot it right up next to the uh, the reinforcing ring, but you also want to hit that base material. Okay, next, we are going to go back and cement some things that we didn't get to cement when we first put this part together. By that I mean uh, there are some interior edges that need to be done. And I'm going to mark these with my little sharpie here. Um, I don't think that you need to mark yours um, because then you'll have marks on your crow box, but I'm going to do it just to illustrate what you need to be doing. So we are going to apply cement here, and here, here, also up and down here, and up and down here. But as you can see, we are not going to cement this front edge, nor are we going to cement either of these vertical edges at the front. This is our front panel, and uh, we're not cementing it to anything just yet. We're actually going to take it off uh, later to do some work on it. So right now it's only attached uh, as a means to keep our box put together and put together squarely so that we can uh, build a um, you know fairly precise box without having to use any special tools. Okay, I'm going to get started with the cement now on this interior edge. Just want to run a bead from here and make it a good one. Use a decent amount of cement because this is a, a critical seal both structurally or sorry, it's a critical joint both structurally and for um, weatherproofing. And then we'll proceed doing the same with this joint back here. And also this one here, which may, may need a bit of a tilt. Some finagling, depending on what your application situation is like, whether you have a tip or not, an applicator tip. Okay, now with all the cement placed, there's a little something I like to do, uh, if possible, which is just move these a little bit. 
to let the cement get in there. And then we'll start doing these vertical edges. Now these vertical edges especially uh, haven't received uh, any cement yet, so you can really kind of gently, I might add, just work the cement like this, work the panels so that the cement can get into the cracks. That will be better for strength. Um, if you don't want to do that, if you're concerned, then don't. But I've done it on most of the builds and it seems to work fine. And I've never broken a panel. Um, you may want to reach inside the access port to put this cement bead down, or you may just have to reach in from the top. Or both. I'm going to go with both. Make sure you didn't miss any spots. And then uh, I've seen some daylight through here, which isn't a big deal. But if you do see daylight, it's a good place to, to wobble that joint a little bit to let some cement leak in. I'm also going to tighten some tape here, which is not as tight as I'd like it. You can do the same if you're not seeing you know, a completely squared off box. Okay, and I'll double check that my reinforcing ring has stayed in place, and of course it has. So, that's that for this step. Um, we're gonna put the box aside again to dry um, while we do some other things.